and welcome back to the Sports Source. This segment brought to you by Games and Things. Well, they've got everything you could want. Home theater seating, table games, arcade games, bars, bar stools. When it comes to making your living space more fun, the only store to turn to is Games and Things. Visit them at the corner of Lovell Road and Kingston Pike in West Knoxville. Check them out online at OurGameRoom.com. I know they've got a big spring sale coming up very soon that we'll be telling you about. It's all because life should be fun. Games and Things. Visit them this week. All right. Back with Jimmy Himes, John Wilkerson, Bob Hodge right here. Bob, you and I had the pleasure for many Fridays uh, for a few yep. years working with these guys. And, of course, you've known both of them for years and years. Worked with Jimmy in, in newspaper back all the way to the 80s. Uh, I will let you lead off this segment of just talking kind of about highlights, memories, wherever you want to go with it. Well, before I get into highlights and memories, the last show I did with you guys, I had a final thought. We had to go to a break. I never got to get it, so I want to put it out now. <laughs> I think Butch Jones will be okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, we had going with, with John and Jimmy, and I, and I knew them before they were John and Jimmy. I met John when he was the voice of the Smokies at Billy Meyer mm -hmm. Stadium, of course, worked with Jimmy. You and I were usually the first ones in the office. And I bugged the heck out of him about UT sports because I'm an outdoor writer and everything. And so Jimmy would come in on the work, never got to. But you know the funniest moment we've ever had on radio? Oak Ridge, Nissan, okay. where you can save thousands <laughs> yeah, of right, dollars. Right. Can I go ahead with my story? I, I guess. Well, everybody well, knows I was, I would just, No, I would just ask them for their best moments. Oh, but their I, best moments. Yes. I thought you wanted me to say no. my funniest moment with them. No. Oh. No. Then let me go back them. a little bit. <clears throat> <laughs> what were y'all's best moments? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that's, that's, that's good. <laughs> well, we're out of time, John. <laughs> yeah. one, one of the funniest moments, and I laughed so hard I couldn't continue the show. Uh, well, I kind of had to hand it off to John. We were doing a pick segment, and we had Haywood Harris and Gus Manning oh. as our co-guest pickers. And to listen to them kind of snip at <laughs> each other during, I, I just I just started cracking up and laughing. I'm just pointed to John, you, you take it. I can't, I can't keep doing this. But I remember breaking out laughing at, at them, the way they were handling our picks segment show. It was, it was hilarious, loved it. And then we've had some, we've been so fortunate to be in so many different areas, but I think two of our greatest weeks um, was the build-up to the BCS championship game in 1999. Um, mm. So we were there the week leading up to it. That was such an incredible week. And, of course, Jimmy, with all of his connections, I mean, J.J. McCleskey joined us. He was with the, the Cardinals yeah. at the time. Mm. And, and so that was a fantastic week. Then the, the week that the Titans were in the Super Bowl, yeah. we were down in Atlanta. We got to have a spot on Radio Row, and that was just incredible for one thing after another. And we had a chance to talk to Joe Namath, Mm -hmm. And, of course, mm -hmm. uh, he goes, Jimmy goes back and, and asks him uh, what was the other Alabama quarterback's name. And Joe did an impression of his dad. I mean, just that high voice. It wasn't Stabler, was it? No, it wasn't um, Stabler. It was, oh, gosh, who was it he split time with? Oh, uh, Steve Sloan. That's it. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. So for him, yeah, coach, yeah. Joe Namath is right there doing, doing his, his high-pitched yes. voice. And it's yeah. just like, wow, this is incredible. But uh, – not only was it big events like that, but it was just, uh, you just have some magical moments in, in, in so many different areas. Another thing that's the weird kind of deal is we each survived car accidents on our way to doing shows. <laughs> that's right. I knew about yours. I didn't know about yours. Wow. Uh -huh. okay. I kept it quiet. <laughs> I, might, I, might, I might have been in Ohio at that point. No. I might have been in Ohio at that point. I don't remember that. I did want to. Did you want to follow on that or just? Wow. You go ahead. Well, I was going to say the Super Bowl. I think I'm right about this. We had so many guests lined up, so many really quality guests that I think Al Michaels walked by and we're like, we don't have time for you. <laughs> That's it. Wow. Wasn't it Al Michaels? It's right. It's right. You're yeah. Exactly right. <laughs> Sorry, we got Brent Musburger. <laughs> Look, uh, we all have shows, whether it's guests who don't show up mm -hmm. or technical stuff. People at home don't know all that goes into, you know, somebody flips a switch, it's all done. They don't know all mm -hmm. the stuff that goes on. Jimmy, you've seen me <laughs> lose it a time or two. Any now that we're just, oh, it was a nightmare then, but you can laugh at now, or, and there may not be one, but there are any where it's like, 
oh gosh, we had to do this and this and this and put it together with chewing gum and string. Were there any that you remember we, that were just went off the rails? We had a remote in Maynardville and we couldn't get our connection. So I just got on the phone and tried to do news and notes and then we broke and it's like, okay. And didn't it take two and a half hours or something for us to get our connection? <laughs> we did you that. Were, we yeah, were, we did I, that. It was on your the show. The four of us. <laughs> Yeah, we, were at a, we were on cell phones in yeah, different yeah, parts of it. We had to go to different yeah. quarters. Right. That's, so that, right. that's right. That's yeah. right. Yeah. So you, See, now yeah. the only thing we're missing is Bob Eubanks, because I had the exact same answer. Yeah. <laughs> this was, well, see, this was, was me and Chance to ask Jimmy. I've always wondered, which one's the news and which one's the <laughs> notes? <laughs> same as odds and ends. No. Yeah. <laughs> was it, well, I'll let you go. You got anything else? Sir? No, I was, I was just going to ask him about remotes. You guys have been to 5,000 different places around East Tennessee. Was there any place, any business, don't have to name it, where you came back and you told the people back at the station, <laughs> ain't doing it again? Never again. Never again. Was that in Virginia? <laughs> again, same answer. Uh, <laughs> long before wow. we saw everything that we've seen in terms of your ability to, uh, to wager and experience all kinds of things from your, your chair at home, uh, they send us to where we left the interstate and still had another hour to drive. We had to cross the state line into Virginia because it was an OTB setup, which is off-track betting. Yeah. So that's where we did a show. <laughs> and, I mean, when you, when you are beyond the reach of your radio signal as you arrive <laughs> you at a place, yeah. that tells you you might, be, you might have crossed the line. <laughs> so you might have fallen off Kyrie Irving's flat earth. But anyhow, we got to watch the ponies race the entire afternoon. And the funny thing was, one of our sister stations, they had their show doing the same. They were yeah. there as well. I remember you had, we, were doing a, we were on there on a Friday, and you guys had us drive to some location. It was like a, it, they were showing off new mountain villas they were selling or something. And it was one of those where we're driving up gravel roads up a mountain to get there. And I just remember, that was, our, our take was usually, they don't pay us enough for this. That was <laughs> North Lake. That was on North, North Lake, Lake someplace. Okay. Oh, I yeah. don't think it was Norris Lake. Don't think no, was there was one that was. Oh, up in I Sevier remember County. getting lost at Norris Lake. Yeah, we probably did that too. <laughs> uh, is there, a, very quickly, just a minute here. Is there one show where you're, that's our proudest? It, it was, this is, if I could go back and do one, this is the best one we did for either of you? Hard to argue with the Super Bowl show yeah. when you had so many incredible guests that just lined up. And I don't know, I guess it's okay to say this. I don't know why we got stationed, but I don't remember the name of the show, but there were three very attractive women that were next to us. And so. Your wife's probably watching. No. Yeah, <laughs> and, and this was the. Uh, I don't know, it's 20-something years ago. Statue of limitations. Yeah. <laughs> but it was to our benefit because these the guys weren't going to turn those women down. So, so, <laughs> so they come by and work. Right. Right. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Okay. Can we get a few so, minutes while you wait for them? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Exactly. that's what it was. Good. <laughs> always, always ready, always prepared. And I do think the last show we did before Tennessee played Florida State, that was also yeah. one. I mean, everything was forward motion. Everything had been covered. I mean, it was all presented and laid out on the table. It was exactly what, how you would want to build in that direction. That's tremendous. You're, and I'll say this, too, and I know you did a lot of the work on the bumps and everything because you, people don't know. These are good guys, uh, and this is the best guy I've ever known. You're pretty good. <laughs> you went to so much work on those bumps and everything. For that, Your show Friday was spectacular. That was a great final show to sign off with. It was worthy of 25 years of good work. So congratulations. I wanted to throw that, throw that out there. When we come back, what's up next? Uh, what are they doing next? John's not going away. Jimmy's not going away from here. John's not going away from radio. So what's up next? We'll show you. Come on back on the Sports Source.